is a makeup tutorial on this look right here. I love these kind of looks where it's like gray eyes and gray lips. I know that's like a very big trend. I wanted to do a makeup tutorial surrounding the Anastasia liquid lipstick in sepia. It looks so much darker on me than it does on everyone else, I feel. But it's okay. I like it. And I used mostly the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I really love these type of looks where you match like eyes and lips together, especially these gray tones. And it's kind of weird for me to do this because I don't have mascara on my lower lash line. I always smoke out my lower lashes and put on mascara and I didn't do that for today's video. I wanted to switch it up and I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So the first thing I'm doing is priming my eyelids as usual. This is MAC's Painterly Paint Pot and I'm buffing that out with a Zoeva concealer brush. Now I'm going to go into the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm taking this whitish kind of color. I don't have the palette with me because it's in storage at the moment, but I'm just going to walk you through the colors. This is like a whitish shade and I just set that um, base down. This is a Luxie Crease Brush. And I'm applying that really, really, really light bone beige, like grayish color. And I'm applying this into my crease as my transition shade. Now I'm taking Max Copper Plate Eyeshadow. It's just a neutral gray. And this is a Morphe brush. And I'm just applying this on the outer corners of my eye, really close to that tape. And slightly bringing it in, like slowly bringing it in. Now I'm going to take this dark gray in the palette with that same brush and I'm just going to do the exact same thing. I'm just taking a bunch of uh, gray tone eyeshadows and creating like a gradient effect from the tape going um, to my inner corners. So that's what I'm doing again, same thing, you know, packing it on the outer corners and bringing it in slowly. Now I'm going into the black of the palette and on a different, more dense, precise brush, I am packing this really, really, really close to the tape. I want the black to just be focused on the very outer like corners, like the cat eye shape, that effect. So I'm packing that black um, really close to the tape, as I just said. Then I'm going to take that same color I used first, and I'm just applying this to my inner corners so that it could just look a little bit brighter on my lid. And then I'm applying that to my brow bone and in my tear duct as well, just to highlight those parts of my eyes. I have a cold, by the way, if you can tell. Um, I use that NYX eyeliner I use in like every tutorial, it's my favorite, it's from the drugstore and I tight lined and, wa and added that to my waterline and then I just used my Makeup Forever graphic liner to create a very very small wing. To prime my face I used the Becca Backlight Primer and then for foundation I am using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation and I'm using it on a Cover FX custom foundation brush. So I'm just buffing that in. This brush is really really cool, it's so incredibly dense. So it gives you really good coverage, like it doesn't drink up barely any of the foundation. It's pretty cool, I really like it, so I'm just buffing that in to my face. So I'm adding concealer underneath my eyes now, and this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. And uh, this is in the shade Fair, I believe. And I'm just applying that underneath my eyes and then blending that in, but you've seen me blend this about a million times, so let's just skip over that. To set my concealer, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and this is a Real Techniques setting brush. And then I just plopped on some mascara. I left my lower lashes bare. That might seem really weird for some people, but I thought it was cool and different. So I applied my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, and now I'm going to contour very, very slightly and very naturally with the It Cosmetics Contour Kit. And I used that shade in the middle, and I'm just slightly contouring with this. I don't want anything too heavy. For blush, I'm using one of my favorite blushes during this time, like this time of year, and it's Tarte Exposed Blush. And I'm using this on a blush brush from Morphe from their Gunmetal collection. Now to highlight, I'm using the Ofra Shimmering Strips. Um, in the shade Illuminating, and I'm using that very, very top strip to highlight my face. Oh, excuse me, my phone. Someone text me. To highlight my face, and I'm using this on an M501 brush by Morphe. And then to finish off my look, I'm using the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Sepia. That completes this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!